Hello friends, today we will discuss about flooding. So basically in flooding, every incoming packet, it stand out on every outgoing line except the one it arrived on. Means that here in this network, here 6 router on this network, S, A, B, C, D, E and F. So if S sends a packet to A, and C, then A sends to D and B only. It's not again sends to S because packets arrive from S. So it only sends packets to D and B. So in basically this concept of flooding. So second point is vast number of duplicate packets generated and, and act in infinite unless some measure are taken to dump the process. So here second point says that vast number of duplicate packets generated. So suppose that S sends a packet, uh, want to pack, uh, send a packet to F. So here S has only one packet. So he sends to A and C to make duplicate to send C and A. So here two duplicate packets A and uh, A and C. So A has a packet from S. So A again make generate two duplicate packets to send D and B and B sends to C and C again makes two duplicate packets to send S and E. So here we can see that we can send only one packet but here vast number of duplicate packets generated. So second point is that uh, vast number of duplicate packets generated and an infinite number unless some measures are taken to dump the process. So here infinite track number of uh, packets generated. Let's take a, a, one example. S sends uh, packets to A and C. So A sends packets to B and B. B sends to C. C sends S and E. So here C again sends to S. So S sends to A because we don't send to C because packets arrive from C. So it sends to A. Here we can see that uh, A has uh, again this same packet arrive uh, second time. So A again sends to D and B. And B sends to C and C again sends to A. So here infinite number of packets generated continuously and this process never be finished until we don't take any measure. So here we have two measures using hope counter and using sequence counter. So first is using hope counter. Here in hope counter we have a one hope counter in every packet header. So and when uh, this uh, hope counter is uh, passed to any router it's decremented by one. And when its hope counter is zero then this uh, router which has, which has arrived hope counter of zero packet so it discuss this packet. So first see what is uh, how uh, packets is uh, source is initialized hope counter. So to so host counter should be initialized to length of packets from source to destination. If render sends does not know how long the path is, it can initialize the counter to worst case, namely the full diameter of the network. Here let's take one example. So S sends a package to F. So here we know that length is uh, F, A, D and F or means minimum length uh, to send this. So here hope counter is uh, let's take uh, S uh, take as a uh, 4. So S send the package to A and C. So A have a hope counter uh, S has a hope counter 4 and A has a decrement by 1 means A has a hope counter is 3. So A sends uh, uh, two pa duplicate packets to D and uh, B. So B, D and B have hope counter is uh, 2. So B sends uh, one hope counter packet to C. So here C has a packet which is uh, hope counter is 1. So C sends S and E packets which has a hope counter is 0. So S and E discard this packet because hope counter is 0. So here we can see that uh, we can stop here infinite number of uh, 
packet generated, duplicate packet generated. So this measure is useful. But one disadvantage is uh, we in C we make two duplicate packets which is not useful because they are they have discarded by S and E. So this is a disadvantage of hope counter. So better approach is using sequence counter. So in sequence per sequence number. So in sequence number every packet header has a one sequence number. So which is made by source. So and each router keep track of this sequence number which is uh, which you pass through uh, every uh, router. So when S S as a let's take an example sequence counter is one and this packet sends to F. So S sends duplicate packets to A and C which has a sequence number is one. So A has remembered this uh, number and C also remember the sequence number in this in uh, in this in his process of uh, uh, in his process uh, in table so here a stores sequence this sequence number in its process table and c also stores this sequence in its process table so a sends for, for packets to d and b and b sends to c so c know that this sequence number is already delivered by its so it discards so here there are no two duplicate packets generated for S and E. So this approach is a uh, uh, very better approach than measure one. So this is the flooding and flooding is uh, basically not for used for uh, packet routing. It's only used for uh, in broadcasting to see whether all other uh, uh, devices are uh, get uh, packets or not. So practically flooding is not useful for a packet routing. So this is the flooding. Thank you. And uh, please subscribe my channel.